Let's take a look at my demo system number three. And what I'd like to do is just go through a little bit of a, an example of the system here. First of all, um, we happen to have uh, two appliances on that we're going to be venting. They are both draft hood type uh, appliances. So this one is a draft hood furnace and we are draft we are going to be venting um, in a uh, common vent chimney and this one happens to be a masonry chimney and it happens to be uh, common vented two appliances we're going to have single wall vent connectors okay elbows i've got two and one so just because there's one i don't uh, i don't add anything at all um, so that's all good and then we have a rise of two feet for each of these okay and we also happen to have a lateral of four feet so and a lateral of six so we're going to definitely want to be watching the laterals to make sure we are not um, overextended on those in the event that we need to look at uh, any uh, derating or uh, maybe possibly increasing the size of that vent system because of the excessive lateral. So, and we also have a vent system that's 25 feet in height. So, the way that our chimney uh, height is determined is from the taller of the two appliances. So, in this case, we have 25 feet on this one. We're dealing with the first connector. What I'm gonna put is the smaller of the appliances, you'll notice has to vent higher. That was one of the rules that we had uh, from my handout um, 36 on the code venting. And uh, that particular one, so the drafted water heater is a 45,000 BTU unit. So this one's 45,000 with a two foot rise. So essentially what we're looking at is from here Let's call it from a roughly about there to here is two feet. And we'll go to the center of this one. So center of that. So that's a two foot rise. Okay, so roughly we get an idea. And uh, height of the system, we have a two foot rise. The lateral, I wanna make a note of that. So that's, a, that's an iffy one now. This lateral, and when you're doing the multiple appliances, the lateral um, just has to kind of be within those guidelines. So we're dealing with six feet and that's a little concerning since simply because we have a um, draft hood connection of three inches. So if that one happens to be um, three inches, that's, uh, it looks a little beyond what we should be having there. So if we take a look at the limits typically the rule that we always use is no more than 18 inches per inch of connectors so i think we're going to have to look at that um, the table that we're going to be that we'll be using for the sizing um, which is going to be our 13 2 d that's the one we're going to be at so we're going to but i think we need to look at that lateral and just see what the rules are with that all right now so a couple of rules that we're dealing with here with these chimneys common vents things like that so it says and i'm going to dial down in here okay so in our system okay in our system and i'll get my highlighter all right so in our system one thing I'm noticing here in my common vent, oh, that's got to be, put that as 25%. So I, ha I had a connector diameter, in this case of three inches, only allows me up to four and a half feet in length. So uh, right away, that almost eliminates a three inch pipe from even being considered. Um, so that would put me at a four inch, so I would have to adapt from the three inch connector to a four inch connector and that would allow me to go up to the six feet uh, is what it would end up doing in there. So that I do indeed uh, like that. So we're gonna take a look at um, that 
particular system. So, and those are part of the rules that they identify in chimneys and vent locations and so on and so forth where they're um, dealing with, um, you know, vent connectors are limited to 18 inches per inch of the vent connector diameter and things like that. So they are um, talking a little bit about some of those rules in the section. Again, it's always a good idea to review those prior to um, putting your stamp of approval on something um, that probably is wise to do that. So let's go back to, um, let's go back to 131D. And 131D, um, that sizing system is going to identify um, two or more appliances. We have a category one appliance, of course, and we are dealing with single wall metal vent connectors. So that is the correct table that we're gonna wanna be using. And of course, um, when we look at our um, system, there's a couple of things that I'm gonna note on here. So the way that these are gonna be done, let me go back to the picture and I'm just gonna show you. So what we need to do is we have appliance, uh, I've identified appliance A and appliance B in my problem. So there's A and this one's gonna be B. So what I'm gonna do is, it, it doesn't matter which one we do first or second, it really doesn't make any difference. But um, a lot of the, the rules we've kind of covered on this one already, um, we know already that we can't do a three inch. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to make a note of that, that um, four inch um, would be the minimum simply because of the lateral. So four inch minimum, and I'll put a note of lateral um, exceeds allowed. Okay, so that's kind of it. So um, either way, we're gonna do them individually, so we have to do the appliance connectors first. So that means we're gonna be looking at primarily from here to this appliance. So we'll start, we can do the appliance B first. So we have a 45,000 BTU unit. We happen to have a single wall and we have one elbow, so that's, that's great. And we have a two foot rise, um, so with a six foot lateral. So the only purpose of looking at the lateral again was to make sure we're within the guidelines. So when I go back to my 13.2D, what um, we've got to look at here is a with a 25 foot high vent system. And we're going to be specifically dialing this in. So I'm going to go and make a few notes here. So we had a 20 foot, 25 foot vent system with a uh, rise, connector rise of two feet. So the two feet is dialed in here at 20 and two. And we remember we had 25 feet. So we're somewhere in between these 20 and 30. In fact, exactly right smack dab in the middle. So in this particular case, that 20 and two or, or 30 and two, we kind of want to be smack dab in the middle to determine the capacity of the system. So if in this particular case, um, I'm going to go over and remember the appliance B was that 45,000 BTU unit. Now, just, just for verification, I am going to show the three inch in this one and the three inch one would have been with a 20 and a two would have would have been basically 30 and the 30 and two would have been 31. It wouldn't have mattered anyways. We would have never, that would have, would not have allowed us to do that because of the capacity isn't sufficient. So let's take a look at the four inch, which we kind of figured that we were gonna probably do that. So the, the 20 and the two has a natural max capacity for a draft hood system of 55,000 BTUs while the 30 and two is 57. So what that pretty much tells me is a 25 foot high vent system with a two foot rise and a 30 foot system with a two foot rise would simply be 56,000 BTUs. It would be exactly smack dab in the middle. So it's a proportional type, uh, type of an event or type of deal. So in this case, we have a 45,000 BTU unit. We have the capacity is good for 55,000 for the vent connector. Um, 
or 56,000 for the vent connector, we are well within our guidelines. So that tells me that appliance, in this case here, I'm just gonna make a note here in my table, appliance B is gonna be a four inch. So I'm gonna go back to my problem and I'm gonna mark that right away. So in this case, uh, appliance vent connector B, in this case will be a four inch B, uh, single wall connector is what we happen to have. So now let's go ahead and do the draft hood furnace, the appliance A. Again, 90,000 BTUs, that has a connection on the appliance of five inches. And again, the we're, so the lateral I think is good shape. We have a two foot rise again and two elbows. Again, no derating on this one we, uh, that is needed. So we'll talk a little bit about derating on this one if it's even uh, something I need to look at. So we, we can start with the five inch in this case. So the five inch is that a connector appliance. And in this case, as you can see, the natural, because it is a drafted water or a drafted appliance, we're gonna be using the natural max column and it's good at 90 and at 20 and two. So remember what I talked about earlier is don't go through the work of trying to interpolate a value in the table if you can get away without doing that. So we have a capacity of the furnace that's 90,000 BTUs. The capacity of the vent connector is 90,000 BTUs if it were only 20 feet with a two foot rise. Now, if I were to say, well, what is the capacity if it were a 25 foot system? Well, when I look at my table and the table is 93,000 BTUs, and in this case, so 93, and of course this one was 90. So that has to mean that at a 25 foot, it would be capable of handling 91,500 BTUs or exactly halfway in the middle. So that's, that's the proportions that you deal with. It's a straight linear one-to-one -one ratio. So at 25 feet, it would be uh, 91,500 BTUs as capacity. We have an appliance that's 90,000 BTUs. This one's a slam dunk five inch connector for the appliance A and the appliance B. So I'm gonna go back to the problem and mark that out. So in this case here, this appliance connector is a five inch and so far so good. All right, now it is a masonry chimney. So now what we've done is we've just simply done this. So we have, I'm gonna make a note here and I'll use blue. So this connector there, that is going to be a four inch um, single wall connector. And this particular connector is going to be a five inch connector. So that um, essentially is the diameter of both of those two particular systems. Now, all we're gonna now worry about is what is the minimum size of what we need from the masonry chimney. So we've done the uh, individuals, now we need to do the common. All right, so it's fairly, um, it would probably be fairly self-explanatory in the fact that you would probably recognize that the common vent, this masonry chimney, this tile line masonry chimney, has to handle appliance, um, uh, A appliance, and it also has to handle the B appliance. So that would mean that we would have to look at the combined capacities. So in this case, we have a capacity on this one that has, is 90,000, and that's BTUs per hour input. And the water here um, in this particular case is going to be 45,000 BTUH input. Wonderful, all right. All right, so the combined, um, if you add up the 90, if we essentially add up the 90,000 plus the 45,000, um, my math is gonna tell me that that's roughly about 135,000 um, BTUs that I have to handle in this case in the combined 
uh, system at a minimum. And because they are both natural draft appliances, we're gonna be making sure we're looking at that. So then what they say is natural plus natural because we have two appliances that are, that are rated that way. So let's take a look at the tables and see how that's gonna look. So this top part of our table, the top part of our entire table, all that is used for is completely about connecting or determining what these connect, uh, the vent connectors are in their diameter. And that's all you use them for. The one on the bottom is gonna be, this would be of course the combined or what, what they call the common vent. So in this particular case here, the common vent um, with our vent system. Now again, I think I'm gonna do the same process again is I'm going to use the 20 foot and the 30 foot and we're gonna take a look at that. Now in this particular case, my common vent on the natural plus natural columns would be that we've got 135,000 BTUs, I think is what we had set up. So if I look at a 28 inch um, minimum area in this case, as you can see, we're gonna deal with the natural, at a 20, it would be 120, 120,000 BTUs capacity. At a 30, it would be 135,000. Now, if you recall, the 135,000 BTUs that we had was the uh, combined BTU number, and we are only at 25 feet. So we are definitely not going to be using that uh, minimum area of 28 square inches. So in this case, I think we're going to look at the 38 square inch um, column for natural plus natural. And we're going to be looking at, in this case, the same thing. I'm going to go just to the, the 20 and the 30. And at 20, we're good for 170,000, which exceeds our minimum amount. And the 30 is 195. Of course, we're halfway in the middle between those two, um, which I don't really care about that so much as I have enough capacity. I needed 135. This is giving me uh, 100, you know, somewhere halfway in between the 170 and 195. So if you basically do the math there, it's 25,000 difference between those two. Half of 25,000 is uh, 12,500, which would put me at a capacity in this case of 182,500 is the capacity. Again, don't really care about it. What I'm really interested in is this number right there. Minimum area, 38 square inches. So now let's go back to the problem. And in this case, my problem is we're gonna put a common vent. That diameter or that dimension in this case is going to be 38 inches. And we're going to, I'll put inches squared is what we'll do. So that is the minimum area for that. All right, I did want to address one additional area. So just as a what if. So what if, what if we would have had three elbows just for uh, consideration? So what if it would have been three elbows? And let's say that third elbow happens to be a 90 degree elbow, a 90 degree um, elbow, what what would have happened? What would, would, what would we have had to do? So I'd like to take a look at that code value or code table. And again, we're gonna look at the connector on this one. So should there have been a value in there where we would have had a third elbow, the rules require us that with the additional elbow, we would have had to derate the table value by 10% and for that additional 90 degree elbow. Now, it would have, we would have only had to derate it 5% should it have been a, uh, a, a 45 degree or less um, angle in this case. So, so what implications would this have had? So I'd like to talk about that. So in the 25 foot area, which we remember, we were at 91,500. We were smack dab in the middle here. So. If I were to take the uh, 91,500 um, 
BTUs and I take off 10%, 10% of this is 9,150. So if I take those off, we're well below the 90,000 BTU appliance. We definitely would not have been able to use a five inch connector should there have been that third elbow. Now, what would that have made me do? What that would have required me to do now is push that over into the six inch column and there we would have had 136 and 142 for a capacity. And in those situations, we would have been in good shape because you could take off, um, ha if you go halfway in between these two, that's 6,000 difference, which would be 3,000, puts me at 139. So we're at 139,000 B2s as the capacity of the system with a two foot rise. And um, if I take off 10% um, of that for that 90, we're well over the 90,000. So this would have just been, then we would have had to go to a six inch for the connector. Uh, meaning that at the appliance outlet, we would have had to have made that adjustment. Now, I do want to emphasize one additional factor that would be would play a role in here. So if, if we were to take a look at, you can't have the common vent, I guess I should say, you can't have the common vent be smaller, you can't have the common vent be smaller than the any of the individual vent connectors. So if this would have been a six, I'm gonna make a note here. Just, this is a, an if. So if it would have been um, a six inch, if you do the math, a six inch, um, let's say a round connector, the area of that. So if we look at the area in square inches of a six inch uh, vent connector, As an example, we would take the area would be, of course, pi times the radius squared is the way that that would end up being. So in this case, we have pi r squared. And if we take the um, pi is approximately you know, 3.14 as an example. And if we take that times um, the radius squared. So half of the diameter of 6 inch is the radius, which is going to be, and again, this is my radius, and in this case, if the overall dimension is six inches, then this right here would be three inches, which is equal to my radius. So in this case, times three squared. So just, just to, again, keep the math fairly simple, three squared would be nine times 3.14 so just nine times three would have been put us in that 27-ish in that area. Um, we, would have been, we would have been okay even at the six inch. If we would have been looking at the, at the and of course the five inch would even be less than that. But either way, um, it's just something to be aware of that you, you, know, you have to make sure that the, the, vent, the vent connectors don't get bigger than the common vent. Um, so in this case, this one is a, is a, our textbook answer on this one would of course be 38 square inches is the common vent with a five inch and a four inch connector on those two. And that's how you solve demo system number three, sizing a category one uh, appliance, two category one appliances with single wall vent connectors into a masonry chimney system.